Hey everyone, Sea Salt here, and Edition 3 cards finally came out yesterday, and I am so stoked. I am absolutely full steam ahead, crazy excited for this. And you can see it too, right? From you know, Karuta Hub general chat uh, to your friends to random people that you trade with on a daily basis. I feel like Karuta is more active than it's ever been uh, before, uh, at least for a long time, for a very long time. It's it's bustling, it's hustling, um, and people are excited. So it's it's awesome that this energy is you know in the game right now. And I just want to talk a little bit more about it. Um, now, before I dive more deeply into this, just want to give a quick plug to please leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content. It means a lot to me. Um, around 90% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so feel free to do that if you want more content like this. In addition, I'm planning to host huge giveaways on my Discord for my 1K server mark. We're around 700 right now, as well as different events for Edition 3, so be sure to check that out and join if you are interested. So, a lot of people have been asking me what I think about the release schedule that uh, Craig announced a couple days ago with it being released every 10 minutes across the two-month period um, and I personally think it's very smart it's a great decision not only because it prevents big whales and big spenders to get every little print in the game but it's also a great decision in terms of not messing up the economy in the very short term and what I mean by the fact that big whales are getting every low print is that if Craig released all the editions near the same time so if they all release within like a week um, and like all the popular cards are released in near like the same two or three days then the same people are going to be dropping thousands of mass drops at the same time and will scoop up virtually every low and mid print uh you know cards for these for these popular cards and the staggered and slow release system kind of will ensure that minnows and regular karuta players at least has a fair chance in getting some low prints and mid prints of certain cards that they want in terms of what to look out for, um, I skimmed out the list and there are a couple of cards actually that are pretty big that are coming out in the next couple of days. I think uh, Trafalgar Law, Rengoku, Sasuke, um, the first Jujutsu card is Nobara, um, the Sukuna 02, Albedo just released I think. Um, but there's obviously a lot more, but you can already say in the next like two weeks, uh, a bunch of 500 plus wishlist edition 3 cards are coming out. So keep your eyes peeled for that. You know and most importantly have fun and be excited for it now visually i think the addition three pictures um just the art itself i'm not the biggest fan of personally uh i still don't know how majority of the cards will look like but from at the moment from what i've seen for the more popular uh cards and animations i prefer the ed2 art or the edition one art um, but that's that's just my opinion and the frame so th this dropped in my channel I think a couple hours ago um, The frames are interesting because he did tease that it was cybernetic and in some other like kind of this theme But I didn't expect this and this kind of looks like a whole new frame in a sense um, I think a lot of people are unsatisfied and a lot of people are against it if you guys like uh, go on general chat or just see crew hub in general and that's just because I feel like it's just unfamiliar and stuff because you know, you, you're not really used to it, but after looking at it at a while, for a while, it's it's not bad. You know, I'm sure as more cards get released and we see more, you know, cool examples of how it can be framed and morphed, people will start to enjoy it and appreciate it visually even more. In addition, a lot of people have been asking me about my thoughts on Edition 1 and Edition 2 with the release of Edition 3. And I think the obvious answer is they're, they're going to lose value and they have been losing value. Edition 1 is pretty much in the gutter. <laughs> Um, you know, I see like 3,000 wishlist edition one cards going for like nine tickets like it's completely bonkers it's, it's totally different than what it was like one or two months ago Edition two cards used to go for like 30 to 40 wishlist a ticket and now it's more than a hundred like 120 130 wishlist per ticket and Although I mean although this is the obvious answer. I am hopeful with Craig's like announcement I, I don't know where it is. Where did, where did he say it? Um, oh here yeah, so he's changing the edition drop rates and older editions are going to be harder to come by. So naturally the collection value of those cards are going to increase. A lot of people are saying, oh, like edition three release, like 50% of the cards dropped, they're going to be edition three. Um, no, it means that out of the cards that drop, um, that have edition three, 50% of the times that edition three will drop instead of edition one or edition two. So you're not going to be getting edition three cards in half of your drops. Um, right now and, and a lot of people are confused and are complaining but that's not what it means it just means that 50 percent of the times when you when a card that has edition three drops you're going to get edition three and that being said uh like edition one zero twos for example are going to be a lot harder to come by 
even though they're already like 10k prints of 0 2 edition one the system with the new 50 33 and 17 percent spread will even out eventually over the long term like very very long term because edition one already has a year to drop but very very long term it's going to even out and though edition one and edition two values seem to be going down i'm also super excited by what craig means when he says he expects to give them higher gameplay value in future systems so really excited he's not the type to make empty promises when it comes to content so i'm sure he's going to deliver something that increases the value of older editions in the future so really excited for that um keep your eyes peeled for that and that just means there's more updates coming for the game and the economy is another topic that i want to touch upon with the release of edition 3 and cards just began to drop like yesterday like i think 12 or 13 hours ago and you can already see the difference in the market the most drastic change definitely has been in the value of the ticket it has increased tremendously and this is due to the fact that everyone everyone wants extra drops and extra grabs for the new edition for a chance at a low print drop of the card so the demand for a certain type of currency, in this case tickets, is exceeding that of a gem. So if we go down to kit and see fast tickets here, everyone is selling like tickets of 20 each. The the market rate right now is pretty much 20 and a month ago it was at 1 to 15. So and it's also important to note that in my opinion we haven't even reached the heights of this uh in terms of ticket inflation in the days leading up to like the release of very very popular cards such as nezuko or gojo i'm sure the demand for tickets will skyrocket because whales are sp they're gonna buy up like pretty much like thousands and thousands of tickets um which which pumps up the demand and lowers the supply for tickets well it, it's pretty much gonna go i'm pretty sure it's gonna go to at least 1 to 25 i'm not sure if it'll hit the heights of ed2 release when it hit like 1 to 30 for a bit um but as we approach more popular character releases i'm sure this will go even higher um but also remember for every other item it revolves around the gem and the gem is the main currency that is actually obtainable at any time so it you can actually buy dyes and frames from gems you can't buy tickets so every other item um is going to revolve around gem pricing uh for example historically like three weeks ago pre-edition three announcement gem frames are trading at around a thousand hundred gems or 73 tickets each like at a 1 to 15 ticket ratio now they just go for 55 tickets which is a 18 ticket decrease now that the value of the frame go down not technically it's still worth around 1100 gems the same value of your gems but since the value of the ticket went up the currency exchange ratio has effectively changed how much tickets you get but not gems and the, the same goes for dies and mystics so they're they're selling for the same gem price but tickets are actually going down at the moment or ticket values of the, of the die is going down so effectively if you were a if you were a big inventory player um you kind of lose out well, not technically lose out because, I mean, you can still get the chance to get back the same amount of gems that you paid for. Um, but you lose out on the gains you would have gotten if you sold those items prior to the announcement for tickets. Um, you for sure would have had more tickets, which means you would have more gems. Um, and this is exactly what I said back in my currency video that I'll link above. I, I told y'all that ticket prices would go up literally the day of announcement that Edition 3 uh, release was coming in a week. People... I, I, like two minutes later people were selling for like 1 in 30 and eventually settled down to 1 in 20 so yeah super like the market is changing like bits are at 1 to 1000 right now as opposed to 1 to 500 or 550 when it was about two weeks prior um everyone's priority is tickets at the moment so they're willing to sell everything cheaper cash is king so keeping tickets is always a good idea at the moment um, here are some tips that I have for you all to capitalize on edition 3 and to make some moolah in the distant future. The first tip is because inventory is so cheap right now, like so much cheaper than it was regularly and it is regularly, you best believe in 3-4 to four months when edition 3 low prints and mid prints are no longer a thing and can't be dropped anymore, ticket prices are going to go down again. And what's going to happen? You guessed it, gem frames, bits, droplets, all that will cost more ticket per item. In my opinion, you can fully enjoy the release of Edition 3 without spending money and getting extra drops and grabs. Um, just use the currency right now to buy cheap items and cheap inventory. And in two to three months, you can sell it back to probably make around 25% back on your investment, um, which is a solid rate. So I'm not saying don't like buy extra drops. Like obviously have fun and do all that, but do it in a moderation. And if you want to make money out of this, um, for sure start sweeping up inventory and cheap mystics and stuff so you can flip it in like three to four months or two to three months. My second tip here is just, I don't recommend using extra drops unless you're a whale. 
uh, the chances of you actually dropping the card you're aiming for is extremely low and you basically are throwing away tickets if you're doing a couple like 20 or 30 fine um but if you're a newer player and you have like five tickets don't spend all your tickets on this instead join other server mass drops um that different servers will have and participate in those like my server is probably going to do some i know uh server uh, other server other big servers have already done some so join those and although the person might uh dropping might be picking up most edition three cards you can still enjoy other high wish lists like 82 or 81 cards that they don't pick up my third tip here is to hold on to your tickets ed edition three just began and remember there are still two more months play it smart uh tickets are king no matter what you do as long as you have tickets in the next two or three months uh, you're in the game. Make smart trades and, and play it smart, especially building around those uh, uh, high wish list edition three drops. Uh, my fourth tip here and fourth and final tip here is if you do manage to get a low print or mid print edition three card, do not instantly sell it. And you can this happened a lot in the release of edition two. A lot of bigger players, a lot of smaller players, a lot more experienced players um, swoop in and they lowball you and they 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 they. they entice you by selling you know like offering a edition one 5000 wishlist card for your print seven edition three 400 wishlist card at face value you might think oh that that card is worth a lot more but it, it's not it's not and and this is a prime time for experienced players to swoop in and, and pick up those cards from more newbie players that have dropped a low print card um, the name of the game in the release of edition 2 was scams and low malls and all the experienced players taking advantage of your players don't let that happen take your time get offers ask around and um even so like ask me even i'm i'm i'm, I'm more than willing to help you guys out and, and talk you guys through what a fair price is for the card that you have um that's pretty much from edition three super excited to see how it plays out in the next couple of weeks especially my you know favorite cards i'm definitely doing extra drops because i have tickets saved up um but hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys uh learned how to get the most out of these next two or three months um uh, feel free to ask me any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.